Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. Thank you so much for all the support and sharing us with others. We are www.yeyeo. We're a spiritual and wellness supplier, which is why we do videos about all things spiritual. And I'm Alemi. Today, I want to shout out, shout out, shout out. Pew, 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 pew. All my people from Miami, Florida. Woo! So great to see you all. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to do a video about spiritual protection essentials. Things you must, must, must have in your spiritual toolkit for your protection. So, let's get started. So everyone needs a toolkit for something, right? And when you're on your spiritual journey, if you are beginner, intermediate, or advanced, everyone has their go-to items. Uh, people who are really advanced, they've got lots of go-to items. People who do work for others or assist others, they've got their go-to items. If you're just starting, you, you need to have go-to go items. So I wanted to share with you today uh, some really strong suggestions that I have that are some of my go-to items, things that I share with ladies um, that work with us in addition to customers. So the first one is, and uh, this one I really want to kind of take a minute to linger on a little bit because someone said to me the other day, how would someone know about Florida water? And I thought, well, hmm, that's a really good question. And so Florida water, which is the first item here that everyone should have as a part of their spiritual protection toolkit, but also a part of their spiritual toolkit in general. But um, Florida water is good for cleansing and bringing. But as it pertains to protection, if the person feels like there's something around them or something on them, or they feel there's some kind of block, you can put a little bit of Florida water in your hands, pass it around yourself, front and back, praying about removing any kind of blockage. This is a spiritual cologne um, that is really, really has like this nice citrusy kind of scent to it. We've done quite a few videos on Florida water in our channel. Please watch those where you can get a bit more detail about Florida water. But this is the first item that everyone should have in their must-haves. Second item is a great crystal that you think is something that you're really drawn to. There are many thousands and thousands of crystals that you could use for protection. But the one that I've chosen for today is black tourmaline. So fantastic. This crystal, um, it kind of looked like obsidian also, and obsidian is a fantastic one as well but black tourmaline is just has a really nice weight to it comes in small pieces large pieces people can wear it as a as a pendant you can use it as an amulet in some way you can wear it as a bracelet jewelry carrying it keeping it in your vehicle altar the list goes on and on right so black tourmaline is great for blocking negative energy, keeping away spiritual vampires. <laughs> I'm sure we've all met a few of those along the way. Uh, it's really, really wonderful for keeping it in a space to reduce negative vibrations as well. And um, if you're going into a place where you feel that there may be some negative energy or you're just overall just trying to keep your aura really clean, Black tourmaline is great to carry and or to use uh, as a protection item. And eggs. Well, did a video on eggs. Definitely can watch those. We've done quite a few. I did eggs for removing the evil eye, eggs for cleansing, eggs for, for grounding, 
on on and on and on. We sell uh, something called Cascaria, which is an eggshell powder. Uh, we did a, a video on Efun, Cascaria, all of these different things. Please definitely watch that to get more details. But eggs, fantastic, fantastic natural item that you can use for protection. You can use it to absorb negative vibrations, whether it be you're passing it over yourself, you're putting it in a space, you're having it under your bed, things like that. It absorbs, it opens things up, in addition to breaks things away. So egg is always great to have and to use. So we've got one, two, three, four. The fifth item that we have here is salt. Did a salt video. Have quite a few videos on salt. I would invite you to watch those. But salt is a wonderful grounding elemental item. So it definitely fits into elemental magic. But using salt is great because it's good for cleansing, grounding, abundance, money, breaking, the list goes on and on. So this wonderful, wonderful thing that you're using for protection can be putting it by your door at home, putting it by your front door to keep negative vibrations out of your home and taking those beautiful salt water baths, which I'm going to be showing you a video on how to take a beautiful salt water bath. We carry all different kinds of salts in the store and those are fantastic for removing negative vibrations. And so now we have a lime. We've done a lemon video. Limes are fantastic. The citrus, uh, citrus fruits in general are great for bringing and for taking away. So, but limes I particularly suggest because they have a stronger cutting vibration um, than even a lemon. And so limes are great for banishing, for protection, for hexing, and so on. So what's a great way to use a lime? Cutting it, maybe putting it on a plate, putting some salt, you can put that again near your front door. You can put that in your bedroom. And if anyone would like to see some more works with limes, comment below. So now we move on to candles for people who are into candle magic or working with candles. We also have videos on that. We are a botanica, so everything that I sell, I do videos about. <laughs> so we have here red. The color red is for heating things up. Fantastic, fantastic for protection, for blocking, for forcing, right? So red candles are excellent if you feel that you are either under attack or you feel that you need to put your defenses up. You feel that you're, oh, I need to get my wall up. I need to get my defenses up. I feel like something's going on, whether it be from work, from social life, family, people, places, or things. Anytime that you feel that you're having a problem, burn a little red candle, glass candle, small one, tea light, it doesn't really make a difference. The red color is really what you want to go for. Black is also a good color, but candles in general, which is one of the reasons why candle magic is so popular, so effective. And uh, please watch our videos about candle magic. You're going to learn a lot, lot, lot. In our website, also, we've got some charts that are free that you can download, compliments of me, so that you can learn more about how to use color in your protection work. White candles. Well, white candles are everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Everyone can find a white candle. Everyone can find a white candle. If you notice, the egg is white. Candle is white. Salt falls in the white category, right? So I would say we definitely have that. And one item that I didn't talk about earlier is sage. So sage, 
falls in the incense category. So I would say that incense needs to be a part of your toolkit. Here we have dragon's blood sage. And so we here at Yayao, I'd love to say that we were the ones that brought um, dragon's blood sage into the Northeast New Jersey area when we first opened. And that was many, many years ago. And so um, we're still selling it. And now you can find it very, very easily everywhere. Um, but we also have regular white sage. This is fantastic. White sage, everyone knows about white sage, but dragon's blood sage is especially a little bit stronger because it is dipped in dragon's blood incense, which is good for banishing, taking away negativity, money drawing, because you gotta protect your money, right? Gotta protect everything, your home, your well-being, and your source of income. So it's always great to, to incense your space, smoke your space out, open the windows, air your place out. So, and remember, you can always use it on yourself. I did a TikTok and we have a reel in our uh, Instagram where you can see me using incense on myself. Use it on yourself, use it in your space. So we, we've got our seven essentials. We've got our Florida water, our crystal, our incense, our egg, our salt, lime, and candles. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and in our description box below, become a part of our exclusive YouTube family list. And see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.